Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. So today's video, I have another lip plumping lip gloss that I want to swatch for you. I love a good plumping gloss. So today's lip swatch video is all about makeup revolution. So this is a new plumping gloss that I purchased on Ulta. They are $3.49 and there are six shades of these plumping glasses and I've been eyeing them for some time until I finally gave in. So look how cute the packaging is for these though. They're nice and chunky. Look at that. I just love how it's packaged and that you can actually see the color straight from the tube so there is no guessing game when it comes to these you can tell what the color is and hopefully the color swatches like what you see in the tube because that's another story but let's just jump right into this video so the first shade i'm going to start with is the clear translucent gloss i know nothing crazy but i, I want to start off easy and what else can I start with than the clear lip gloss? Do you guys see how massive the doe foot applicator is? That thing is huge. Like look what happens when I compare it to my pinky right there. The doe foot applicator is like the tip of my pinky finger, the length of it. Straight off the bat, it does smell minty, which I do not mind because I love a good minty smell. But what's amazing is how much it actually reflects light and it makes it look so glossy on the back of my hand. That's crazy. I love how much real estate this doe foot applicator covers. So this is what we have for the translucent gloss. This is what is expected of a translucent clear gloss. So nothing really to explain here. It is self-explanatory. Next up we have sauce. So sauce is described as a medium mauve shade. I like that very beautiful color so medium mauve okay it's not like a very deep berry so I see that so far so good with the swatches I do have to say that the formula is just a little bit too thick for my liking. No, it's really pigmented though. Like, I did not even dip the doe foot applicator back in the tube, but this is enough for me. I could do well with just one swatch, especially because the doe foot applicator holds so much product, so it's not necessary to go back in the tube for any more product. But I am not mad at this color. It's actually really pretty. I just don't like that it feels a little bit too sticky. The sensation is not very intense. The plumping sensation that is. So I can deal with that. Um, yeah, just a little bit too heavy. But the color payoff is impressive. So I am happy with this color. Moving right along to the third shade, we have Peachy, which is described as a bright coral color. All right, so we've got Peachy. Not bad. Look at the pigment though, that is crazy. Thank you. 
do you guys see what I'm seeing here? Look how ridiculously pigmented these lip glosses are. And like I said, one layer is more than sufficient for me. I feel like because it feels heavy already, if I put another layer on of this gloss, it's just going to feel super globby and sticky and I do not want to go down that road. So I would just stick to one layer of this gloss. And you can see that it's starting to get on my teeth because I think one layer was still a little bit too much. So it might be best to just kind of tap off the excess so that you don't have extra gloss just running on your teeth or showing up on your teeth. So that should help. Uh, use your fingers to get the excess from your inner lips. And hopefully that helps a little bit. Moving on to our fourth shade, we have Kiss. And Kiss is described as a neutral pink. So depending on your skin tone, neutral pink can come off a million different ways on your skin tone. So this looks like it's more on the paler side of pink, which, you know, it might not even show up on my lips because it's on the paler side, but let's just cut to the chase and find out. This one is, seems like it's more sticky than the other ones. Did you see the string of gloss that was on this? That's usually not a good thing when it just groups like that. Like what I said, pale pink can show up a million different ways depending on how dark your skin tone is. But to me, it looks like a clear gloss with a hint, uh, itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty hint of pink in the gloss. Well, that's just how it's showing up on my lips, my pigmented lips. So if your lips are not so pigmented, you might actually get a little bit more color to this gloss. But to be honest, I'm not mad that it's a neutral pink because if I don't feel like just wearing a clear lip gloss, um, I can just use this one which has just a tad bit of color in there if I want a, a simpler look. The clear gloss would just be too plain and boring, but just to zhuzh it up a little bit, this neutral pink color would seal the deal for me. So I would just need a little bit of color and I can go about my ways. But yeah, it's not, this is the least pigmented color on me so far. Um, of course, I'm not gonna count the, the clear translucent one because that's how it's expected to swatch. I expected to see a little bit more color, maybe not as bold or vibrant, but just a tad bit more. So yeah, I am okay with this one. I guess we can't win them all. Our fifth color here is called Juicy, and Juicy is described as a brick red. Are you sure? Hmm. Anyways, this is Juicy. Well, now that it's settling in, I can see it looks a little bit more red. At first, I was kind of confused by the color. It didn't look red when I first swatched it. But now that it's settling in, I can see that redness coming out. And yeah, it's not too far off, I would say. I just love that I'm able to get pigment from these glosses. You're gonna hear me say that a million times because it just doesn't happen very often. So I get super stoked about glosses that show up on my lips. And this set is a set that I will utilize until every drop of gloss is gone from the tube. You guys see what I'm seeing. The pigment is here, it showed up. It showed out. So we can't use it as an argument, guys. The proof is right here. And lastly, but not leastly, we have 
cookie we have a brown lip gloss so this one is described as a deep brown with nude undertones This is like a perfect nude color. I am obsessed with this color. Obsessed. This is that multi-purpose lip gloss that you would keep in your purse for all occasions. That's how serious this color is right now. It's so pretty. It complements my skin really well. Also, if you are of a darker skin tone, this will look so beautiful on your lips. This is a go-to lip gloss that we can all benefit from because it doesn't matter what, it can always function as a emergency lip gloss rather than just having a lip balm on your lips. Why not just throw in a nice plumping lip gloss that will give you that beautiful nude lip effect. This is the one that I can see myself reaching for every single time. It's a thumbs up for me for sure. Okay, so now for a little recap of these lip plumping glosses from Makeup Revolution. They are a plumping lip gloss. I love that they come in this very chunky packaging with the biggest doe foot applicator I have ever seen in my life. And what that allows for is that it covers so much real estate on your lips that you really don't need to go back in the tube for more product because it holds so much lip gloss on the doe foot applicator itself. When you first open it, you will notice that it has a very minty smell the minty smell is is kind of powerful it's very strong and i think that has to do with the plumping effect so if you're not into strong smells then you will not like these but i love a minty feeling a minty gloss as far as the plumping effect i felt more intense plumping lip glosses i would say these are more of a mid-range um the most powerful i think i've felt is I don't know, Too Faced Lip Injection, that's that's a very strong one. And also there's one from LA Girl that was super strong. Um, those are the only two. Oh, there is, there is Boxum's um, Lip Polish. I think those have uh, a little bit more intense sensation as well. But these, I would categorize these as a mid-range because it's not... I felt more powerful and more intense sensations. Uh, when it comes to the colors, most of them are very pigmented and opaque and that depends on your skin tone or how pigmented your lips are. I would say that these, they all had a bit of color to them but some of them had a little bit more opacity to others. So these three, for me were the most pigmented from the six of them. Of course, there's that um, regular clear gloss here. If your lips are not as pigmented, more than likely all these shades will show up on your lips. So if you are looking for something more sheer, these are not sheer. These have intense pigmentation, so they will show up like a lipstick, but it's a gloss. As far as the formula i found the formula to be a little bit too thick um and because of that it does feel a little bit more sticky um to be honest it does feel heavy on my lips but what you can do is you would have to tap off the excess lip gloss from the doe foot applicator just because it holds so much you do not need all of that lip gloss on your lips and what i found that happened to me is that it started to get on my teeth so far i'm still good it started to get on my teeth because there was so much lip gloss there so you would have to tap off the excess gloss so that you get a more 
seamless, secured finish without lip gloss moving everywhere on your lips. And I can show you how thick this formula is. Because when I was opening them, I don't know if you guys were able to notice it, but you can see like the strings of lip gloss. Let's see if it's gonna... So yeah, look at that. That's how thick it is. So you see that string right there? That's how it's even hanging. That's how thick it is. And, and it does get a little bit sticky. So yeah, just something to be aware of if you are thinking about getting these. I think they can improve on the formula, but for the most part, the color payoff is amazing. And you still get that high shine and lip plumping effect from these glosses. It's not gonna last very long, because hello, it's, it's, a, it's a gloss, and glosses are expected to come off with the wind. So you just have to make sure you carry them with you so that you can reapply as needed. But for the most part, I love these lip glosses and hopefully this video will help you to make a more informed decision if you do decide to spend some coins and sport these lip glosses when um, the lockdown is over. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also subscribe so that I can continue to give you more content like this. Again, I want to thank you so much and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye!